Hi, I'm Phil from TurboMini.com. Welcome to another video. As always, grab a brew. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Right, so for today's topic, we're going to be measuring uh, the chamber volume on a cylinder head. So this is a cylinder head that I've just actually cut the valve seats on today. So all the chambers are finished, all the parting's done. I've done the valve seats. So we want to measure the chamber volume and then we're going to measure how much we need to skim off to give the correct volume that we need to give the desired compression ratio. So I've got the cylinder head here, valve seats are all finished as I say, uh, we've put a spark plug in it, so obviously that blocks that, uh, and then we're going to get the valves next, and we're going to put a light smear of grease around the valve seat and push the valves into the head. Right, so we've got our two valves here, there's the inlet valve, just put a little smear of grease around the seat there as you can see, there's the exhaust valve, so same on that. So we now just pop them into the head. And the inlet valve. And then just push them on. That'll seal them. You could go to all the effort of putting the springs and everything on without the grease, but it's completely pointless. It's not going to alter the measurement in any way doing it this way, and it's a lot quicker and easier, so we're going to go this method. Right, so I'm just going to prop the end of the head up on a little wedge of wood here. Just if I lay it like that, I'll put it on there. Otherwise, if, obviously, if I put it face down, it's going to push the valves out. So we'll put it on that wedge of wood and then we can leave it like that. Right, for the next bit, I've got an old bit of clear perspex. It's got two holes drilled in it there. One you're going to use to fill up with the liquid, and the other one is going to allow the air in the chamber to expel. If you try and do it with one hole, it's not going to work properly, so I do it this way, it works. Right, we're going to use this to seal off this chamber. If you can see here, yeah, I've put a smear of grease around the edge of the chamber to seal it, so I'm just going to put this on top and then just gently push it down around the edges and that seals off the chamber there. So I've got one hole at this end which I'm going to use to fill it up. The liquid will obviously fill, go to the top and there's another hole at the very end of the chamber and the air is going to come out of there and then when it's full of liquid we can read off and that will give us our measurement of the volume. Right, so we need something to actually measure off the volume. For this we're going to use a burette which is this long glass tube as you can see with a little tap on the end and it's measured in cubic centimetres along the length of it. This is actually a 50cc one, you don't actually need one that big generally for mini stuff. Uh, up to 30cc would be more than adequate generally but generally come in 50cc or smaller. You can use a syringe, uh, but this is a lot more accurate. If you can get hold of one of these, it's a better way of doing it. To help fill it, we're going to put this little little funnel in the end, uh, and I'm going to fill the burette to zero on the scale, which is there, and we're going to use paraffin, and then we're just obviously going to fill the chamber up and uh, read off on the burette how much uh, volume of liquid it's taken, and that'll be our chamber volume. Right, so we filled our burette, to zero, if you can see that, zero on the scale. So we're now going to put that in the hole at the bottom here. And then we're going to turn this tap gently and start filling the chamber. So the paraffin's coming out, starting to fill the chamber up, working its way up. Obviously we've got the head on a slight angle, so there's a little bu the bubble of air is heading towards the hole at the top, which is exactly what you want. Filling up, filling up. And as we get towards the end, turn the tap back a little bit so it doesn't come bursting out. And there we go, a little bit pops out the top, and that's it. So we can now lift that out and we can read off on our scale there. Right, so that particular chamber is 21.5 cc. Right, so now you know what your chamber volume is. You'll need to know how much, if anything, you need to skim off to give you the chamber volume that you require to give you the compression ratio that you're looking for. So, say for example on this one, it's obviously 21.5cc, say we wanted 19cc. What you'd need to do is set the head up perfectly level, so you need to set it up on something sturdy, uh, use a level, get it as accurately as level as you can. So I'm not going to do all that here, because I haven't got the time, but I'm just going to go through it with you. So say that's perfect, we'll say that head's level uh, and then we've still got the valves in the in the chamber. 
that we've just measured. Then what you need to do is you need what's called a depth mic, which is this. What I've also got here are two washers, exactly the same thickness as one there and one here. They're both 80 thou thick, it doesn't matter what, what you use in particular, somewhere around that thickness will do, as long as they're both equal and as long as you know the thickness of the washer. You can then minus the thickness of the washer from the measurement that you're about to take. So you put the washers either side, all they do is lift the depth mic up and they stop it touching uh, the, any liquid that you're about to put into the chamber. So you take your burette again, say you were wanting 19cc in this chamber, you'd fill that chamber up with 19cc of liquid from your burette, which would obviously sit in there. That would obviously be sitting slightly below the level of the head face because it's a smaller volume than your actual chamber volume. You'd then get your depth mic, sit it on your two washers there to keep it away from the actual surface of the liquid, and then you wind the depth mic down until it touches the top of the liquid, till it touches the surface. As the mic comes out, it'll touch it. You then take a reading off your mic, minus the thickness of your washers, because obviously they're lifting it away from the actual face. So I'll say it was 100 thou, for example, on your mic, you'd obviously minus the 80 thou of your washers. That would be 20 thou that your volume of liquid would be sitting down uh, into the chamber. So you're looking for 19cc, you've just put 19cc in, uh, so you, to get, and it's 21.5cc at the minute, to give you 19cc in that chamber, you need to skim 20 thou off it. So that's just a rough example, obviously I've not taken any measurements there, but that's how it would work. Well I hope that made sense. Uh, any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. See you soon.